So one of my favorite animals that we caught in the trawl today is the squid. So take a look at these. Even though they look kind of fish-like, they are actually related to mollusks. So mollusks typically have a shell. If we were to look internally at these squid, they have a reduced shell or a modified shell called a pen. So if you've ever dissected a squid before um, in school, then maybe you've, you've seen that shell before. Um, but these animals have a really soft body. They're pretty fragile, so they don't have a lot of protection in terms of hard parts on the outside of their body. Take a look at their colors as well. They've got the ability to camouflage and to change their color really quickly. So you can see some of these look a little bit lighter. Some of them look kind of red or almost purplish. Those little dots that you see are called chromatophores. They're like little pockets of color and they can stretch those pockets to make them larger or shrink them down to make them smaller. And so that's how they're able to camouflage or change their color so quickly. That helps them to communicate with one another may help them to find their food and also to avoid predators. There are lots of things in Long Island Sound that would like to snack on these squid, like the fluke that we caught today. Um, these animals have a really large eye, and so they're able to see really well underwater. Um, they rely on vision in order to find their food. These animals also have a fin that you can see kind of moving around that helps them to swim through the water. And near their eyes, you can see all of those tentacles and arms. So we call these animals um, cephalopods. That's the type of mollusk they are, which means head foot animals. So it kind of looks like those tentacles or their feet are coming right out of their head. If we were to count them, we would find eight of them. Um, and then also two longer appendages as well. So a total of 10 altogether. Um, in between those arms and tentacles, we would be able to find their mouth. And their mouth is kind of in the shape of a bird's beak. Um, it's kind of black in color and actually pretty hard. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. If I move the tentacles and the arms, right in the center there is the mouth. And then while we are kind of zoomed in, hopefully you can see all those little suction cups along the arms and tentacles as well. Those will help the squid to grab onto prey. See if I can get it to stick onto my finger here to show you. And see how that's kind of attached? And so that will help them to grab onto a prey so it doesn't escape something like a small fish or maybe even a shrimp.